Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Intersection. I have done this problem in the previous video, but somebody emailed me and said, please look at it again because it was cut uh, from the end uh, during the editing. So here's this exercise again. You're supposed to construct a PDA uh, that accepts the language A to the power N and then constant three Bs and then C to the power N. The conditions, number of A's and C's are the same. Number of B's constant always three a's followed by b's and followed by by c's so the the example of this language can be a b b c or a a b b c c uh, two uh, three b's and three c's always three b's so the tape the input tape should look like this and and that's what it should look like so you always have a constant of three B's and the number of A's always equal the number of C's. So let's see how we do this exercise. So let's work on the problem. Uh, the first thing is we're going to start with our starting state. So here's my starting state Q naught. I'm going to transition not reading from the tape and not Popping anything from the the stack, but I'm going to push my marker. So here's my. And again, I'm looking at this language: four A's, three B's. B's are always constant, as is given in the problem, and then four C's. The A's and the C's, uh, they can be different number. They don't have to be like four and four, but they can be two and two, or as long as they or one and one, one A one and three B's and, and one C, but I just want to do it a longer, I'm going to use a longer word so we can understand this, uh, this exercise. So we're going to transition to Q1. I'm in a Q1 where I have my, I am reading from my first uh, input, uh, input tape, I'm reading the first value there. So I'm reading an A, and then when I read an A, I'm going to pop nothing from the tape and push an A. So here is the A. And I'm going to go o over this four times until I'm, I am here. So here's my second A, third A, and then fourth A. So I read all those. So I'm right here. I'm going to transition to Q2 via NFA. So I am not reading the tape. I am not Popping anything over the tape, know that I am pushing from the tape. So this is like a, a finite automata. Now I am going to go to the next here, Q2. Now in Q2 I have a constant number of Bs, so I cannot I cannot loop the Bs. So I'm going to go three times. So here's my first time what well, I can it's better if I just like because I'm gonna do it three times and I have a constant number of B's so I can then do this I'm gonna fix this that's better I'm gonna I'm gonna read the C I'm sorry read the B read this B and read read the B and then pop nothing from the from the uh, stack and push nothing to the stack then in the and I have to do this because I have a constant number I can't loop I can't loop so I'm gonna go next to I'm gonna read the second B here so I'm gonna read the B pop nothing from the stack and push nothing from the stack and that's my second my next transition so i go with that transition i go from the q2 to q3 so one b two b i need one more to go to q4 and in this case i am going to read the b and pop nothing in the stack and push nothing to the stack so now i have I have one, two, three Bs. Now when I am at this stage, I'm going to start 
reading the seas. And that's what and that's what will make the uh, the count. So I'm going to count for for every C I read, I I pop an A. So for every C I read, I pop an A from the stack and push nothing. So I read the first C. This will go. Second C. This will go. Third C will go. Fourth C. And now I I am at the dollar dollar sign my marker, and that's this transition. I read nothing from the table anymore because I'm here and I pop my dollar sign and push nothing to the stack. Now I am at the final state Q5. I think this transition that I did three times got cut got cut from the uh, from the previous video um, now what I want to do is I want to take this further and I know I have done this exercise before but I'm gonna do it one more time on this in this video so now what I'm saying is I have the same number of A's same number of C's but an arbitrary number of, of B's so it doesn't matter how many B's so the the um, in this case, in the previous case, we have three Bs constant or five Bs, if whatever the problem set is. In this case here, we don't have, we don't, whatever number of Bs uh, we should be able to to work with. So the example language in this case is uh, A and then so many Bs, I don't want to even count them, and then one C. So as long as the A and the C are the same. Two A's, two C's, and one B here. Four A's and so many B's and then four C's, as long as the C's and the A's are the same. So my tape, on this case, should look like this. Here's the, uh, here's the tape. So the tape is whatever number of A's, they have to match the number of C's, but the number of B's are not, uh, are not important for me in this case because I'm gonna set my counter on the A's. So I'm gonna read, read, read the A's first and 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 uh, and push them into the stack. Read the B, but not popping or pushing anything to the stack. And then when I start reading the C's for every C that I read, then I will just like pop pop an A. And here's the, the problem. Uh, it's the opposite of the other one. Uh, we don't have a constant number of B's. In this case, we don't know how many B's. Um, that we will have, but we know the number of A's and we know the number, the number of C's, and they are equal. So how we start again? Same thing. We start on the, the starting state, and then we uh, read not reading the tape, but and then we're not popping anything with the tape. We're pushing our dollar sign, as you can see it here. Okay. In the next stage, we're gonna read the A's. Okay. So we're gonna read, read an A from the tape, and then. Uh, pop nothing from the, the stack and then push an A. So we're going to do this four times. As you can see here in the stack, I have them four times. Now when we get to the B, we're going to move over the epsilon transition here. Uh, and that's uh, like a finite automata. We, we don't push anything. We don't pop anything. Uh, we, we don't read the tape. So we come here and we start reading the tape. We start reading the first B. When we read the first B, we just like... Uh, not pop anything and not push anything until we're done with all the Bs. So with uh, one B or 20 Bs. So we're going to, every time we see a B, we pop nothing and push nothing. We're done with the Bs and then we're going to move over the epsilon transition to the next state. That's what this means, uh, which is like reading, not reading the tape, not popping anything from the stack, not pushing anything in the stack. So the stack stays the same. In this case, we got to the C. When we read our first C, every time we read a C, we pop an A, push nothing to the stack. So this A will be gone. And and then the next A will be gone. Will be This will be the top, so it will be gone. All of the A's will be gone because they match the number of C's. As we read a C, we kick an A from the, uh, from the stack. Now we are here at the dollar sign. We When we see the dollar sign, when we get into the dollar sign, we pop the dollar sign. 
push empty and nothing from the tape. We don't read the tape and that's our uh, final state. I made this video, I think 10 minutes and a half, so I'm happy. Thank you very much for uh, joining me in the, on, on my YouTube channel. Please do subscribe so you can get all the updates. Thank you. Bye-bye now.